Welcome to another video dedicated to open source solutions. Today I will share with you my experience of setting up a multimedia home center based on Raspberry Pi. So let us start with a little introduction. I am a big fan of Raspberry Pi and currently I have two of them running as a permanent part of my home network. The first, Raspberry 3, collects data from temperature and humidity sensors and acts as a print server as well. The second model is more powerful, Raspberry 4. It runs Pi-hole to protect privacy and remove ads, but also acts as network attached storage, shortly NAS, using two USB drives connected to RAID 1. By the way, if you are not familiar with NAS concept, write me in the comments and I will make a dedicated video on this topic. For the file server share solution, I use Samba. A few weeks ago, I decided to finally configure Bluetooth in my Raspberry Pi 4, connect it to my boost speaker and play music using MPD program. I went the standard route. I installed MPD from Raspbian, pointed it to my folders and it was a disaster. Bluetooth disconnects, MPD crashes, sound problems, you name it. I decided to go into more details and after a weekend of searching, downloading, compiling and configuring, I have a system that I can play for hours and I'm happy to share with you a few tricks on how I did it. Remove from your Raspberry Pi everything Pulse Audio related. Pulse Audio is a fairly advanced and very modern sound server that came to the Linux world in the mid-2000s. To be honest, the list of features and capabilities is impressive, but it does not work on slow devices and generally has some latency issues. For professional applications, Linux users choose Jack or Alsa. So the first step is to make sure you don't have a shared program with Pulse Audio on your system. App to remove is your friend here. If you are not using Pulse Audio, what can you do instead? The solution is Bluetooth Audio Alsa Backend. Blue Alsa, short name of the program, is an integration between Blue Z Linux Bluetooth stack and the advanced Linux sound architecture, Alsa. It works pretty well on small devices and is even included in the Raspberry Pi packages so you might be able to download it with apt. Unfortunately, after installing Blue Alsa from the Raspberry repositories and integrating it with MPD, your system will be unstable and the overall audio file experience will be poor. Why this is so? Let me explain in the last step. The general problem with the software provided in the Raspbian repository is that in many cases it is no longer up to date. Just one example, the version of MPD in Raspbian is at least 30 versions behind the original version. Yes, 30 versions back without bug fixes. Just imagine that. In other cases, such as Blue Alsa, the Raspbian developers seem to be forking Pluralsa and out of sync with the mainstream. As a result, you very often have to work with old bug versions. The solution to my problems was quite simple. I removed both MPD and Pluralsa from my Raspberry and installed the developers' latest versions from source. I inserted the compiled binaries into systemd reusing the scripts from the original Raspbian packages. And now everything works like a charm. One note. Compiling MPD is pretty simple. You need to run up build get dependencies. For Blue Alsa you need a few minutes more to pull various dependencies from the GitHub repositories. Going into the details is beyond the scope of this video, but if you need help, let me know and I'll do a separate video on it. That's about it. After installing the latest version of MPD and Blue Alsa, your system should rock. And some additional tips for the end. There are three MPD clients I can recommend. MPC, 
simple command line interface that comes from the authors of MPD. Excellent for the command line and scripting. Cantata, the best graphical client I have found, works on Linux, Windows and Mac. And MALP or MLP, Android client app that lets you control your MPD from the comfort of your cell phone. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. Have a great day and see you in the next one.